Title, Student Life at CSDB, the CSDB logo, the call out our school for the deaf and the blind. An ASL interpreter is in the corner of the screen throughout the video. A group of students smile and wave their arms in the air. Title, where do CSDB students come from? Title, Gideon, dorm student. Gideon stands in front of a stone building communicating in sign language. I'm Gideon. I'm here at CSDB. Some people at CSDB come from all over the state. Some live locally and some people live far. School bus pulls up to campus. Title, how does my student get to CSDB? Students exit a bus to a waiting staff member. Title, Samwell, dorm student. Samwell is seated in a dorm living room. Hi there, my name is Samwell. My district sends me each week to CSDB on a bus, but other students are brought into the dorms by their parents. Man and woman wave to a staff member as they arrive to campus with their son. I live far from here. I come here on Sundays, and I leave on Fridays. Living in the dorms is really fun. Bed up video follows Gideon as he walks in a dorm hallway, high fives two students, drops his backpack in his room and falls backwards onto a bed. Gideon and two students play a game with chips at a table. Gideon throws his arms in the air, smiling while another student laughs. There are boy dorms, and girl dorms. In the dorms, they help us to learn, to become independent. For example, laundry, cleaning our rooms, cooking, etc. Female students communicate in sign language while seated on recliners in a dorm living room. A student and two adults carry bags and backpacks on a campus sidewalk. An adult and student make a dorm bed. A student washes a glass in a sink. A student waters an outdoor potted plant with a pitcher of water. Samuel plays hand drums. Two students accompany him in the living room. The dorms are a place where we stay after school. They are like our home during the week. Samuel sits at his desk with a computer and braille writer. Everybody has their own room and we do several activities and we also learn how to be independent. In a kitchen, Samuel dices carrots. A student uses a strainer at the sink and a student staff member work at the stove. A staff member signs to students in a kitchen, title, who will supervise my student overnight? We have supervisors that stay and help us with what we need. Samuel in a dorm living room, a staff member waves from behind him in an office with large windows. Title, June, Guardian. June stands against an interior stone wall with old black and white class photos behind her. The communication between the dorm staff and the families and the nurses is just really stellar. We get a call once a week. Um, to confirm transportation, but it's also an opportunity to talk about any behaviors that might need to be addressed or any progress the student has made in the dorm. Student and staff member cook at a stove, three students work in a kitchen. Students play ladder ball outdoors. Title, what kind of after school programs are there? Here we have a ton of after school activities. Students play a giant Connect Four outdoors. We stay busy at CSDB. A waitress brings an extra large pepperoni pizza to eight students seated outside of a restaurant downtown. Students play a card game. Every fall, we have a week of events for homecoming. Students play football against another team. Students at homecoming in crowns and sashes, five in formal wear, two in football uniforms. Students in formal wear dance, some wearing crowns and sashes. And that's our favorite time of year. Guardians and a student with a cane carry items from parking lot into a dorm. I was a little nervous at first. Uh, you know, you worry about their safety and if they'll flourish in a dorm. But our student has just really grown and, and loved it. They spend a lot of time on daily learning skills and the dorms are very clean and very structured. But they also have a lot of fun. Student places pillow on a bed. Student signing to an adult as she carries a pillow and stuffed animal. Student places items in a fridge. We're so grateful for the dorms because without them, our student wouldn't be able to attend CSDB because our careers are in our hometown. And so we're just so grateful for the nurses, the dorm staff, and the ability for him to dorm here at school so that he can attend CSDB. Students and staff communicate in sign language while standing with bikes. Students and staff socialize outside. Student life is the best. 
come join us. If you'd like more information, look up our website. CSDB.org. Graphic. The CSDB logo appears on screen. Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind. Telephone 719-578-2100.